So I wanted to start 2021 off on the right foot. I had plans to do a century. I had plans to go out and do a big 100 mile ride come January 1 and, and start sending this year in the right direction. And I posed the idea to Laura, hey, how about I do a century? And she said, why not up the ante just a little, little lot bit? She said, why don't you do the 200 on 100? She knows I love doing this ride. So what is the 200 on 100? 200 on 100 is a famed New England ride that spans the entire length of Vermont. It starts at the northern Canadian border and runs 200 plus miles all the way south to the southern Massachusetts border. It earned its name 200 on 100 because probably 99.5% of which takes place all along Vermont's Route 100. So it's a very simple ride in theory but it's a really tough ride in practice because A, obviously the challenge of the ride itself, 14,000 feet of climbing, 200 plus miles, but then the logistics of any point to point ride can be a challenge, let alone when you're gonna span the entire length of a state. First time I did the 200 on 100, the year was 2011. I had recently broken a collarbone. I was coming back from injury. I was stateside at the time, racing for Liquid Gas Cannondale. My dear New England friend, Tim Johnson and I, we'd batted the idea back and forth about doing the 200 on 100 for years. But our conflicting schedules, him racing a full cyclocross schedule, me largely in Europe, they made it really difficult to, to figure out the time and place to figure out how to do it. So finally, worlds collided, blue moons happened. It just was the perfect circumstance and scenario. So that 2011, Tim and I did it, and we, we teamed up with our dear friend, Ryan Kelly, who, who famously came along for the ride and did some pretty, pretty heroic stuff. One reason why Ryan is so destroyed over the course of this day is not making sense. Is it's, it's not well known. Just two days prior, he had done a 200 mile ride as a charity ride in Seacoast, New Hampshire. As a joke, Tim and I invited him along for the 200 on 100, and that is why you see him so spectacularly fall apart over the course of that ride. So here's what we got in terms of packing for a trip of 200 miles. We have nutrition, beginning with two of every waffle. That gives me 10 waffles. Probably a packet and a waffle every hour. I'm trying to stop as little as possible. So I have food, I have snacking, I have electrolytes, energy, and I have hydration in the form of maple leaf. Let's move to electronics. Fitting, since we're next to the sous vide machine. We have cycling computer, light, backup light, headlight, external battery, spare external battery, because I'm gonna be riding at both ends of the day. I have music to listen to in one ear. I have electronics. All the necessities to fix some stuff on the side of the road. I got your multi-tool, I got Dyna plug with the quick fix inflation two tubes, GoPro, naturally. Here is my breakfast tomorrow morning. I have oats, I have Justin's almond butter, and I have this wonderful mixture of fruits, nuts, sugar, cinnamon from our dear friend, Kristen. Thank you, Kristen. That's my birthday present. Oh, well, I'm gonna steal that from you. Let's move towards clothing, because this is very important. Two sets of hand warmers, two sets of toe warmers. I have neck gaiter, I have gloves, I have a full box lava, because it's gonna be very cold in the morning. I have Felocio Zero Booties. I have thermal tights. I have one undershirt. I have the Alpha Long Sleeve, which is convenient because it's a, it's a, basically a thermal underlayer, but also with pockets and signature soft shell from Felocio. Hello there, in our home away from home. It's uh, 9 p.m. on New Year's Eve. There's a raging party going on in the house next door, and I'm gonna go get some shut eye. Good morning. Breakfast is served at 4.25 a.m. Slept darn near close to six hours, which is decent. I'm trying to hit the road at 5 a.m. Got the, got the heater warming up my shoes. Estimating about 11 and a half hours of pedaling time. Factory and probably an hour and a half of total stopping. And that gets me there at what? Six or seven p.m. Nice little New Year's Day. Happy New Year's, y'all. Putting boiling water into my bottles for this exact reason. It is 21 degrees now. It's gonna drop down to uh, to 19 here very shortly. And then thankfully I'm not gonna be here tonight because it is snowing. So, yep, just cap it on. A warmer on the shoe and then the booty. All right, y'all, it's 522. 
time to go ride bikes. Morning, 5.30 a.m. at the port of North Troy. That is our good friends, the Canadian Border, U.S. Border Patrol. And now I got 208 miles till I find the southern border of Vermont. Let's roll. Hour 20 in, it's about 19 degrees. Cars are going by, but there's nothing to complain about because I'm in Eden. Dad joke for the win. A little after seven, sun is slowly coming up, although we're a little bit overcast. And there is a barn. Welcome to the quaint hamlet of Stowe. It's normally a thriving ski town. This amazing two inches of snow is really not doing much for their season. So it's quiet. Woo! Ben and Jerry. And Woo! Tim. And me. Snack time. Snacks. 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 They were at OR. Vermont. Scenic Route 100. Howdy. Coming along. Just dropped off Tim. And now in the center of the state. Obviously, sun's out. Beautiful, beautiful day. And the lack of wind puts me currently ahead of schedule. Halfway through, five and a half hours in, averaging 19.1, 266 watt average. Uh, let's go one out of 10 scale. I'm feeling like a seven. It is 11.30 in the morning and despite being January 1st and a national holiday, this store is open. Hello there. That's where we're going. That's where we're coming from. That is Ludlow. That is Weston. We just came up the longest climb of the day, about three or four miles at about 10%, which is quite brutal. I would say it's all downhill to finish, except that is not true. We have a lot more to go. It's uh, 1.05 p.m. Ted left around 5.20 a.m. and we have a three hour drive ahead of us to go and pick Ted up. Uh, hopefully we can find a place to pick up some burritos or food. Here we go. So documenting here, that tree is the tree under which Ryan Kelly said, I feel like I had run over by a dump truck full of awesome. Ryan, shout out to you. So onward we go. Well, time to check in. I said I was on the longest climb of the day, forgetting that the other longest climb of the day is soon thereafter. And now, I'm assessing the sanity level with uh, 28 miles to go. It's times like these, I think, man, this is not necessarily a good idea in January. Where's dad at? Hey! Hey! Hi, Hazel! How are you, honey? One eighty-seven. So I got about twenty to go. So I saw this car on the side of the road. And I decided to stop and help, but it turns out it's my wife and daughter. Someone Hi guys. else already tried to stop and help us. Hi Hazel. Hi honey. All right, I'm gonna keep going because I'm exhausted. Some dessert. Don't tease me. Right turn. 
Hello, Scenic Route 100. Oh, hey y'all. Car is behind me because there's no traffic and I'm zeroing in on one mile to go and very, 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 very tired. Don't get too excited, folks. But that sign says Vermont left, Massachusetts right, and that means I'm done. Oh, oh. oh I'm done. Nice work. My friends, thank you for following along. All right, what do you think of this shenaniganry? Uh, I'm glad I was here because we're in the middle of nowhere. We're in the middle of nowhere. The Vermont Massachusetts border, there's nothing going on. Hazel, what do you think? You having fun? Who's hungry? <laughs> Hazel, mom, and I'm very hungry. What's for dinner? Cold pork sandwiches. From the Vermont Country Deli. Well, I'm sure, uh, sure glad I did the ride on January 1, not January 2. I have high hopes for 2021. Obviously, 2020 was an incredibly difficult year for any number of reasons. Please insert your reason here. Creativity, doing your own adventure, creating adventure. These things have not been canceled for 2020 nor 2021. Doing things responsibly, doing things the right way. We know that we're gonna be able to do that into the new year. That is why I did it. I have high hopes that we're going to be at events, that we're going to be doing in-person events sometime and throughout the year in 2021. So I did this ride for training. I did it to get the, the big distance in that I'm gonna need over the course of the year. But I did it because I love riding a bike. I wanted to inspire people to pick their own adventure and go do it. Whether you live in Florida, whether you live in the Rockies, whether you live here in beautiful New England, Go for an adventure. Adventure is not canceled this year. That is why I did the 200 on 100. That's about all I got. Over and out.